Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are not doing any gaming. We are doing another how-to video. This is going to be how to download mods for... Ooh, sorry, I just hit my desk. Star Wars Empire or Forces of Cor Corruption mod. Uh, it's not... Forces of Corruption is not a mod. That is actually the DLC, which if you buy it on Steam, you automatically get it. Um, we are downloading the Mass Effect at War, but the way I'm downloading will work for anyone. Because I actually have the Republic at War and the um, Battlefront Commander mod. Um, but anywho, so right away you're going to want to hit this. Um, you're going to wait for the video to load. Then if that loads and it doesn't start downloading down here, I already have downloaded it. It only took me about half an hour. Um, download error. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't. I just downloaded it. No, it doesn't. Um, so don't worry about that. But, uh, once you do that, and if it doesn't, uh, start downloading, when the video starts, click the link and it will start downloading. Um... Let me just, okay. So now, let me just minimize my browser. Um, yeah, all this stuff I have downloaded. A lot of Minecraft mods, most. It's mostly Minecraft mods. Uh, all this stuff was from another, another mod I just downloaded last night. Um, there's Tube Tycoon. Um,. So now that we got that, you can close your browser. Grab this. I like to do this. So you extract here. Wait for it to extract it. See, there's something already. This might be a little different than what I'm used to. I doubt it is, because usually it just downloads a few things and you gotta put them all in the right file and all that. But then, while it's extracting, why don't you go into this? Go to Acer, oh, <laughs> your disk, mine is Acer, because I have an Acer computer. Let me just pull this to the side, pull this to the side. There we go. Uh, go to Program Files, uh, x86, and if that isn't there, just go to Program Files. Um, and then find Steam at the bottom. Um, Steam Apps, Common, this will bring you to all your games, find your game, which I'm finding Star Wars Empire War, go to Corruption, and if this file's not there, sorry, ignore these, those shouldn't be there, if this file is not, oh, no, that shouldn't, that should, wait, all this should, never mind, um, if that if the mod file is in there, make a new one, but but it has to be named mods or else it won't work. So you're gonna go oh, double click it, and then as you can see, I already have a bunch of mods downloaded. I just gotta wait for this now. So if I just minimize that, um, and then let me just. Just so you can see my the exact bottom of my screen. So this is all it download. Alright. So you pull that in there. Now, this is really important. You have to go to rename. Highlight this, even though it was already highlighted. Copy this. Go into your game, right click it, hit properties, set launch options. Make sure you have this exact thing typed in or else it will not work. Star Wars, Forces of Corruption, mod path, a uh, space mod path equals mods slash, and then you put in the name of the file. So this one was Mass Effect at War. Uh, version 1.3 so you have to have that exact thing typed in 
So not just the name, but you have to put in the name after. But that exact thing, all right? That should have given you guys enough time to uh, type down. And then you hit start. This should work. If it doesn't, then I know it didn't work. Forces. Of, you got to make sure you go to Forces of Corruption or else it will bring you to the normal Empire at War, which we did not modify. We only did modify the mods file in... Um, we only did modify Corruption. That's why we went to the Corruption file. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys just saw that, but that the game did not work. I didn't realize it didn't. I thought it did stop recording, so I was talking to myself. Um, so I think I know what the heck that was. So open up back, uh, open your files back up. Go again to. It should be there. No, it isn't. Why isn't it there? Why couldn't it just save it in my recents? Um, go to that. Go to program files or pro or whatever program or uh, program fire files eighty six. Then you have to scroll down to find. I already passed it. I just gotta look for Spotify. Um, and you scroll down to that. Uh, scroll down to Steam apps. Common. Find your game again. Uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Uh, War Game. Empire at War. Corruption. Mods. Okay. Open up this. Um. God, this is different than everything else. So. This is a README, so you can read that if you just... This is German, English, README, Mass Effect. It'll bring up something to read it from, which I don't know. So it's bringing up Office Word. Which should load, because I don't want to read it. Just make sure I know what I'm doing. Um... Uh, oh, Microsoft Office cannot verify that. Alright, so, oh god. So here's the German side, here's the English side. Uh, but apparently it doesn't want me on this. Apparently I don't have it. So now my computer's like broken. <laughs> Not actually. But I think. Okay, let me carry those out. I'm just trying out a few new things. Put Mass Effect in. And just search. Alright, so, this is completely broken. I've kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but why don't I try it? If this does, then the continue, then the video will go up. If it doesn't, well, then I'm going to do a different video on a different mod. Um, is that launch options? Paste, okay, play, 
forces of corruption. Let's see if it works. Not sure if you guys are able to see this, but I know I am. Yeah, it did work. Alright guys, so it does work, so all you need to do, you don't even need this file in here. All you need to do is just pull out the mass effect file and then change the property name with that. So I hope, you, hope this video was helpful to you, I know I kind of messed up once, but yeah, this can go back in here. Uh, thanks for watching guys, see y'all later, hope that wasn't too long of a video, thanks for watching.